Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 25 of Haven Cave Blocks, where uh, we take on the uh, warden today. So let's see how it's done and jump into the episode. All right, guys. While we're waiting on the antimatter that we uh, started producing last episode, uh, I got asked to... Uh, Finish off the getting started chapter here, which if if you guys have been paying any attention to the series, uh, know that we only have the warden left to kill and the mimic. Well, I would like to automate the warden and mimic kills, and to do so, yeah, I didn't have to come all the way back here. We had the universal grid. Um. I want to teach the system uh, the simple villager mod, or the easy villager mod, because we have uh, some villager spawn eggs that we got from uh, turning in quests, because, I mean, you, you can claim rewards, get torches, and that type of stuff. But I want to make uh, some of these items here just just getting them tossed into the system mossy cobblestone oh oh uh vines is there only uh this method of making vines lily pads okay we can make lily pads with it in our clinical catalyst okay uh, lily pads, a chemical catalyst, I think we have underneath, uh, underneath none of these. Uh, let's grab some fuel real quick. I will toss some yellow fuel down for it. And I know we made an alchemical catalyst, and we yeah we had to have because we we have it taught to the system. Uh, so we'll come underneath this one. Yeah, this one will work here. You will permanently have the alchemical catalyst there. Now we can get the converter here. Mossy cobblestone. Okay, uh, converter. I don't know what the converter does. I know what the breeder does. So we just need to get us a bed. Uh, like so. Uh, farm, very useful for some of this stuff. A uh, trader is also very nice on some of those. I, I'm going to show you guys probably easy villagers more in the next pack. Um, but what we need is a breeder. And potatoes. I think potatoes work well with this. Uh, what we're going to do here is I want to come over, say, here, where it's sort of safe. And uh, we have a villager. Uh, we we shift right click him, and he becomes a villager in our inventory. So let's uh, do that real quick with the rest of these villagers. I want to push these guys into the corner. It'll help us out. And they do not stack, okay? Um, the reason why it's getting pushed back is our gem armor. 
Okay, so yeah, they 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 talk in your inventory. They're they're annoying. I uh, will set down the breeder. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, I did pick up these chests because of the mimic. Uh, we'll set in here potatoes. Okay, so we'll set one villager, and I think we have to have two villagers in here. And after a little bit, they will make little baby villagers. Hoping. I'm hoping that's what happens. And uh, there, there's where we need the incubator. Is uh, once they make uh, uh, children, we're gonna need to incubate them into adults. Um, breeder. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. A uh, breeder. Six bread. Twenty four potatoes. Okay. Uh, six bread. We can do bread. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, okay, so they've taken their first 24 out of here, and we get us a baby villager. We stick the baby villager over here. We'll, we'll watch him as he grows up. Let's grab bread, because that is an easy thing for us to have access Uh, and we're going to need a lot of these uh, villagers. So we'll, we'll just have him in there. He's just chilling in there. I'm not sure how long this takes. Or if we can hit it with anything. Maybe time in a bottle? I don't think time in a bottle works. And yes, guys, we're, we're up to 44 hours on that. Okay, so time in the bottle does work on these guys. Okay, so that is good to know. We can also put the baby villagers up there. So yeah, apparently time in the bottle, whenever it ticks, it ticks multiple times. Okay, so that is good to know. Uh, but we've got four baby villagers. And the reason why we need villagers is if we look at the summoning altar here. Uh, we'll see to get the warden to come to show up. Uh, we need five unemployed Minecraft villagers in this form that we have them. Because, like, yeah, all of these guys are unemployed. Yeah, this this one's taking a little bit. Oh, man. We, we must have a dark area somewhere. Do, 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 do. Uh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot to light this up. Uh, leave me alone, spider. I'm trying to educate people. Where, 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 where is the... Come on. Okay, so we've got three adults here. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two... We're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I've idled for a while to uh, to get antimatter. We're 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 almost done with the antimatter that we need. But I would like to get at least ten of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Two more. Uh, while we are waiting for that, let's get the summoning altar. 
and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to get uh, unlimited wardens. So we're going to get a uh, what is it? We are going to get uh, something, something. Um, oh yeah, we need to make chocolate cakes as well. So we need to get some strawberries. To get strawberries back to the marketplace, we get this guy out. Set it down real quick. We'll say strawberries. Strawberries, blueberries, we'll get this, okay, so that, that, that's what, it's under the Haven goods, okay, we'll destroy the marketplace here, we don't need you anymore, we'll get a creative, uh, hopper, a chest for it. All right, we'll set down the chest. We'll say we'll set down the chest here. We'll come up here, put the creative hopper onto this. Uh, dirt and strawberry crops. We'll hit this with an X-180-128 and just get some strawberries here. Alright, uh, need one more of those villagers. Yes, we got three more babies, so this is, this is fantastic. Um, we're going to do hostile neural networks. We're going to need a modular framework for the uh, warden. And we're going to need one for uh, the, the other thing. Um, I can remember what it is. The mimic. Okay, so... We'll teach you how to make the cakes now. The chocolate cakes. Uh, we need you to know how to get milk. And I don't think we've had milk. No, we have not had milk yet. Uh, milk bottles comes from a milk bucket. Okay, milk bucket comes from cow essences, cow seeds, cow soul jar, soul extractor, raw beef or leather. Okay, so we have our soul extractor up here, so we just need uh, this to uh, shut up for a second so I can think. So, uh, soul jars. Um, so glass, so jars, one, two, three, four, and we're going to need, uh, you don't need that for this, uh, we need leather, okay, soul extractor, we put the soul jar in here. We can teach you this. We'll use this back here. I mean, why not, right? And uh, we can get some um, coal. 
I'll just grab mini coal, because like, why not? And uh, I, I will be right. No, we still got plenty of time. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna get some souls, uh, cow souls done. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back after uh this, or can we just do this? Yeah, we can just speed it on up with the acceleration, so. Uh, we need more leather. And some more coal. How about just regular coal? All right, so we've got two of these done. Make our cow seeds. Where do we have that set up at? Why do we have an indie man loose over here? Um. Uh... I know I made a spot for... Okay, there it is. Okay, so... Place the... Soul jars. Uh, we need soul seeds. And soul seeds are... This. Uh, do do What level is the cow essence? Uh, cow ones are prudentium. Okay, prudentium. So we're just making some cow seeds. Oh my god, I cannot wait to sacrifice you. I mean... Um, yeah, yeah, I, I meant that, I meant that, I meant that. You humming at me is just really, really annoying. Alright, I can waste as much time in a jar's time as we can. Once we get our cow seeds, we need another creative hopper. Uh, another meow, meow, I'm a cow. All right, uh, need dirt. No, we need farmland for this. And a chest. What? Wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need a chest. Uh, just any old chest will work. Uh, I'm going to set this guy down here. It's only a temporary solution. And hit this with some of this. We've got some essence here. So now we can say milk bucket. And now we have the milk bucket taught to the system. So we can make this. So we should be able to make our chocolate cake. Uh, I'm going to need a total of five of these guys. Okay, so we're, we're going to need, a, like I said, we're going to need a lot of more of these uh, villagers. Uh, but we can put the babies right in here into storage for right now. 
and we're going to do our first summon of the warden here. Okay, so we look at the summoning altar here. It needs a skulk catalyst below it. Uh, you got to make sure you know what's below it. Like below this one is a trap chest. So we need a skulk catalyst. Uh, no. Skulk catalyst, which we have. Um, I think we got those from a quest as well. Okay, so we've got the Skulk Catalyst down below it. So now, we look at this. We need to put the chocolate cake. So we uh, right click it but and shift right click to take it out. But uh, we just need one chocolate cake. We need five villagers. So one, two, three, four, and five. Wait. How do we do the summoning? I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm trying something out here. Let's see if this actually works this way. Uh, you get back in there. No, no, no. None of you are allowed to leave. No, I said you weren't all not allowed to leave. All right, uh, Essence of Haven, a Warden plushie. A uh, Warden plushie. See, we can do multiple items uh, that can stack. All right, uh, Essence of Haven, Warden Plushy. No, no, you, sir. Back in there, back in there. Um, and it, sir, 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 where are you going? Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, mana storm charge. Five of these as well. Oh, I made it and just tossed it right into there, so that's why that said that. Uh, and a catalyst ultimate research tier. All right, so we just need a catalyst. Uh, Well, we should make uh, 10 of these guys real quick. Be right back with that. All right, we're back. These guys are ready for this. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's how you do it. Uh, well, well, why 
watch here, you see these things are getting sped up into this. You have to set them down. You have to set them down on the ground. So we have now the warden here. We successfully got the data structure. We'll go in here, put him into the deep learner. Put this into our offhand. Alright. And you see that it requires us to fight him six times, so... I'm gonna do that probably off screen. And with with our gem armor, this is pretty much cake work, so you guys have seen this before, so. And you see here the the, the skulk spreads because of that. Um We just need to do this like five times in this area. So I will be right back uh, once I've fought him a few more times. Uh, because, I mean, like I said, you, you guys have seen that now. Saw how easy that was. The next one. Yeah, and we're going to just stick these villagers up in here. Uh, is the Mimic. We need a trap chest, which we've not made. There. Now now we have trap chest uh, at our uh, beck and call. We set that up underneath there. Uh, we, we'll we'll uh, repair this with some stone. And uh, I'll show you this room once I get done fighting the wardens. Because I'll probably not even bother uh, cleaning it up. Uh, but to summon him, we need ender chests, regular chests. So, uh, re uh, regular chest, ender chest. Uh, the netherite chest. Um, see right there, netherite chest. Insanium gemstones. And what was the other one? A chemical chest. Uh, alchemical chest. There it is. And we will put a porcelain doll on there. You see that lightning comes out of nowhere because, you know, like we're underground here. Uh, we'll get the deep learner back here in our inventory. And we will pull out the modular framework here. We will get the mimic data module. And uh, we'll put this in here. So we'll press F. Fight this guy. Oh, it says we need 30 to make the next tier of these guys. Okay, so I will be back uh, after we get uh, these quests complete. I will be back. Okay, guys. Uh, I found a secret here. You can actually put all of the, your uh, things, multiple levels of them, on here. And whenever you activate it, well, it'll activate it once. And and it makes it easy to kill them all. Um, I already did the mimics that way. Uh, so we just have one last warden to fight off. I, I really wish I had a better weapon, so you guys know a good weapon. Leave it down below. It might it might help other people out 
when they're trying to do this. Uh, as for me, I have that up really great armor that prevents me from taking any damage, so. Here we go, just two more swings, and there we go. Okay, all the wardens are done. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to show you guys this here. I automated the farm here. Uh, what what happens is the they eat bread up here. It hoppers out. It goes into this spot. It outputs. It outputs into this chest. Uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. I put some of my tools in there so I would have them. And so, yeah, that is how you uh, kill them off. Now, uh, you get these learning things out of here. Okay. Um, we don't need the deep learner right now, so that can go in there. What we do need is some uh, at hostel. We're going to get uh, some uh, one loot fabricator. That's all we're going to need. And we're going to need two simu simu uh, simulation chambers. I can English. Um, we're going to come over here. Because, like, why not? We can set up these two simulation chambers on this. Uh, we'll put the Mimic in here. We'll put the Warden in here. We need a Catalyst. So, at Hostel. Uh, we need some of these Prediction Matrixes, which has EMC. So, we can just toss them in there. And we can automate it with the uh, network receiver here pumping in the uh, prediction matrixes and then pulling out the things and sending them wherever we want. Uh, we're just going to manually do this because, I mean, we're not going to need all that much from either one of these guys. Uh, the one that we need the most is the Mimic. So we can complete these quests over here. Uh, we did get the Everlasting Beef. Uh, we have not gotten the Eternal Steak yet, but that's cooking the Everlasting Beef. So uh, after a little bit, these will run and will give us a... Uh, a... Uh, what you call it? Let's see here. Uh, okay, there we go. It gives us these prediction matrices. Uh, with the mimics, like we we've got so many of these things, we just gotta make sure we know exactly which ones we need still. Uh, with the Wardens, like the Warden will give us Echo Shards and Warden Tendrils, so we really don't need that much from the Warden. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much how you're going to automate those guys. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh... Hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead and hit that dislike button. Uh, leave a comment down below why you disliked it. Why? What is going on? Uh, apparently, we've got the antimatter that we need now. So, uh, we'll be covering that here shortly. So, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it, leave a comment down below, tell me why you disliked it. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out this channel. And until next time, later, Gators.